Okay, Bernie, Bernie, look. So we were talking and you heard a police scanner, right? Bernie, are you there? Yeah, I'm right here. So you heard a police scanner, right? I heard someone else talking. Okay, but you said police scanner. That's why I said you said police scanner, right? At first, at first, you, did you say police scanner or not? No. You, you didn't say police scanner at first. Bernie. Um, you're not talking now. I'm right here. Yeah, is somebody persu yeah, is someone persuading you on this conversation? No. Okay. Are you sure? Because a crime against the White House, you can't lie on it. You know what I'm saying? Now, okay, at first he said police scanner. I'm trying to figure out if we could have an honest conversation or not for you to second that. And then you said you didn't say police scanner, but you did say you heard someone speaking on the phone with us, right? I heard something on the background. I don't know if it was your TV or something. I don't know. Well, it's obviously not TV, my TV because my TV is not even on, not connected, and it's broken. So definitely not the TV. But you did say first police scanner, no? You're on recording. Right. You're on recording through your, through your phone company. You know that, right? Because I'm gonna I'm gonna ask I'm gonna ask them to submit this recording now. Because not only you lied, but you first said police scanner. But then when I asked you if you first said police scanner, you lied about it, right or wrong? Why would you lie? Is what I want to know. And that's why I want to know if I have to st speak to somebody else. Because if you said first police scanner, and then I asked you if you said police scanner at first, and you lied and said no you didn't, then I want to know if me and you, Mr. Bernie from Costco, can have an honest conversation or not. And if not, hand over, hand over the phone to somebody that's honest. And that's it. Could we have an honest conversation or not, Mr. Bernie? Yes. Okay. Did you first say... Police scanner. It's my radio in the background. My walkie-talkie. Oh, it was now your radio in the background. That was a good comeback line. That was that was a great one. Actually, I'll give you an A for that. Well, there is a police scanner connected to my modem. And by patrol ID. From Spectrum. And exactly. Did I tell you? I heard that whisper. Very good. Now you're whispering to someone else. And you're on recording. No one here. There's not no one here in the room. Oh, okay. So somebody else was whispering on my phone, which is fair enough. I understand it. Okay, Mr. Bernie. Um, d did I not tell you that Spectrum was calling when we were talking? Um, I don't recall. You don't recall? Wow. Did I tell you anybody was calling me while we were speaking? Oh, you got to go get debriefed, sir. Do you have to be debriefed? He's being debriefed. You hear this on recording. You hear somebody whispering to him. And that's what it is. And that's them not being honest and why they committed a crime to Mark Shallot. And now we're going to show you the cameras coming in and out of the screen of the TV they sold me. While it's not connected and not inside the box it's in. Watch. And here it is. And this is for evidence. I just want to return to TV. I don't know why I can't return to TV. But we know somebody's being debriefed. And that's Mr. Bernie at Costco. Um, we will find out everything about this conversation. And I'm going to order it for court records. And that way, he can be honest about a phone call uh, coming in between mine and his conversation. It was only loud enough to interrupt us from speaking to each other. But now does not recall the conversation. Wow! Sure is kind of funny. That sure is kind of funny. And that's the problem with Costco. I can't have honesty with them. And that's why they committed a crime to me in their store. And that's why I will have to take them to court now. Since they can't be honest with me. Because Mr. Bernie wants to lie this morning. And I'm going to ask to be, uh, this issue to be escalated. And to talk to somebody that's honest and won't be debriefed. Uh, this man is being debriefed at the moment um, by Costco employees, and we're going to add that into the um, testimony. This is good information. Uh, this is exactly what happens every time I call somebody that commits a crime to me. They get debriefed instantly, including sheriff's deputy at Lost Hills. 
And look what's happening now. This guy's getting debriefed. Next thing you know, he'll be driving a new car. He'll be getting a better job. And that's what they do for everybody. We're going to make a part two of this video.